Uh, we actually met in religion class, but we were both education majors. And um, I would go to class every day kind of dressed up, and I was enamored with him and tried to get his attention. Through the grapevine, I just heard that one of the Carroll cheerleaders, and Sue was a cheerleader here at Carroll, was interested in me. And um, because I was a commuter here, I was not into the social scene at all. And uh, it kind of tickled my fancy a little bit, and so then I found out that it was Sue, and then later on we did hook up, and she asked me to a sorority formal, and that's kind of where it all began. I invited him to our Chi Omega formal when we were both sophomores. And then that summer, because the formal was in the springtime, summer came, and we kind of both went our separate ways because he lived in Sussex and I lived in Wauwatosa. And it wasn't until after we graduated we both got teaching jobs, and I taught in the Elmbrook School District, and he got a teaching job in Sussex Hamilton School District. And we both started working for the Brookfield Recreation Department on Saturday mornings. There was a roster that was given to all the Saturday morning rec people, and uh, Sue had gone through that roster, and she called me one night. I did. And uh, out of the clear blue, I get the phone call, and it was like, hello, is this the Randy Howard that went to Carroll College? And I, out of the clear blue, said yes. And then she said, well, I'm Sue Bloor. She asked me, out for, asked me to come over for her dinner. And the dinner was a, she called it, uh, what did we call it? We called it, uh, it was beef stroganoff, she called it. But it was actually just ground burger. <laughs> with some soup over rice is what the actual meal was, because I can recall that first meal. And we were both focused on the same goals, we were both educators, we both were family oriented, and uh, we just decided that we'd be a good match and we were going to get married. So we were married in bicentennial year 76. I've always said that the true test of a solid marriage is when you're tested and you get stronger because of it, and that's so true of ours. I'm more in love with my wife now, almost 38 years, than I was when we first got married. Um, we had Dr. Raff's human anatomy class. And we were walking out, heading back to the dorms after class, and I was trailing behind Laura, who I didn't know at the time, and uh, as she walked up the steps, her sandal fell off, and I was the one behind her that picked it up. I think it was a simple little whoops and her charismatic laugh. And uh, that's something like, a, I think I forgot, or I think you forgot something, and handed it back to her. And he just seemed kind of like, this all around just great guy. And I always, I told my roommates even, I just said like, oh my gosh, if he, if I don't marry him, like I, I hope to marry someone just like him. Like he just was kind of that person that I was like, we just clicked so, so well. You're about 21 you know? weeks. Yep, yeah, 21 about weeks. 21 weeks along. And we're due in June. First mm -hmm. one, June 13th is the due date. And we're very excited. Ex very excited. excited isn't even a word that <laughs> describes it, but we'll use it because I can't think of a better one. People talk about when you're when you're choosing where to go for college and what a big decision it is. It, you really don't realize it at the time because you just think you're going to your next school. But really, that phase of your life is more often than not probably where you find you know, somebody that you might spend the rest of your life mm -hmm. with. And the good blessings I've had for myself since Carol have all stemmed from making the choice to come here. Him coming to Carol was was great. Him and I are very close. There's never any pressure to be at Carroll or to follow in their footsteps or do anything like that. Um, I'm, I'm glad I got to share in opportunities and experiences that they both had here. But when I was looking for a college, it just Carroll felt like home when I got here. Having the Carroll College experience that we had had, it was nice to relate to what he was doing. It was interesting because um, he was co-captain of the baseball team, so I'd taken a picture of Randy and Danny after one of the games. So I think he found a poem online. So we typed it out and we put it in a photo, kind of a um, double photo, a photo um, frame. And he signed it and he left it on Randy's pillow. So when we came home from dropping him off, I couldn't find Randy in the house and he was upstairs laying on the bed with the photo frame and sobbing. You know, so. It was just about a father that spent time with his children, and he was glad that, as his father, I spent time with him. Even when we come back and just drive through the area, it always feels just good to be around, and it uh, feels good to be back on campus, and um, to know that I share that with my parents is something special that I'll, that I'll always remember, and I'll you know, tell our kids and you know, uh, 
um, people about as well. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day! Day.